Hello and welcome to the Nest Simulator video series. My name is Jessica and today our goal is to demonstrate how to simulate a single neuron connected to a recording device. And then we will show this output as a membrane potential. You can also find the script on the documentation webpage under the example networks link. So let's start up IPython in the terminal. If you have not already installed Nest, you can check out our install guide on the documentation webpage. For now, we will go on by importing Nest into IPython. We also want to import the Nest Voltage Trace module. This module will allow us to visualize the output in some nice graphs. Next, we set the verbosity to only show warnings. This is to stop Nest from being too chatty when we run the simulation. Now before we start a simulation, it's always a good idea to reset the kernel. This will reset the simulation time. So now we can begin with creating our example experiment that consists of one neuron using the nest create function. Here we will use the integrate and fire neuron with alpha shaped postsynaptic currents as an example. Next we want to set up our measuring device. So we will use the create function again for the voltmeter. Now that they are created, we can set up some properties using set status. We can set the external background current for a neuron to 376. We also need to set a global ID for the voltmeter. The width GID indicates that the voltmeter will record the source ID from which it received the event. In our case, that's our neuron. Now we can tell Nest how to connect our device and neuron together by using the Nest Connect function. In this case, the voltmeter is the first value. It will periodically send requests to the neuron to ask for its membrane potential at that point in time. And that's all we need for this small example. So let's start the simulation. We will choose here, as an example, 200 milliseconds for the simulation time. As you can see, since we have only one neuron, this is a very quick simulation. There is no output because we have disabled Nest for outputting messages unless they were warnings. So now let's take a look at the actual output. We use the voltage trace module from our voltmeter device. We can plot this graph onto the screen. Ta-da! We have our first graph of the membrane potential. We can now see what happens when we change settings. Let's make the current 450 and set the simulation time to 500 milliseconds. Let's have a look at the voltage trace now. Since we didn't reset the kernel, our second simulation is appended to the end of the previous simulation. And we can see side by side the difference between the two outputs. And that is basically how to set up a very simple single neuron example. Please check our other videos for more examples and let us know in the comments what kinds of examples we can do next. That's all for now. Happy simulating!